talking about that have like, you know, the peptides, the exosomes, the stem cells, like this kind of next level yeah. Ill Illuminati type stuff. This is cool stuff. This is the, the what I call the biologics. Uh, so the biologics are interesting because biologics are, they're familiar to our body. Our human system knows what a biologic is. It recognizes it and says, oh, okay, I've seen this. So like a, like a peptide is typically they've taken a protein or a peptide that the body already makes and taking pieces of it and introducing it back into the body because each protein, proteins are what we call, call pleiotropic. So think of it like this. There's a ring full of keys. So let's take the growth hormone uh, protein as an example. Uh, it's got all these keys on it and every different cell type in the body, whether it's a fat cell, muscle cell, bone cell, brain cell, they all have different locks. And so we can take that protein now, that growth hormone protein, and start extracting the keys. And then we can inject those keys to affect the one area without affecting the other areas. I mean, this is highly specific interventions that are being achieved with peptides. Mm. And the body responds to peptides. So when the body's familiar with it, it knows how to, re to respond to it rather than react to it. Okay. Medications and nutraceuticals, even all these supplements that we take, it's a body reacting to something. And we have to deal with off-target effects. So even though we have this positive effect here, we've got to deal with these other side effects over here that's affecting these processes. With responding, we can get very laser focused in, in interventions. I mean, we've got peptides that will repair the body in ways that is just exceptional. I mean, cartilage regrowth, um, wound healing, gut healing peptides. We've got cognitive enhancement peptides. I mean pretty significant cognitive enhancement peptides. We're getting some impressive results when we do cognitive, functional cognitive testing when we use these. Um, <laughs> that smile on your face scares me. Are you really? <laughs> well, my refrigerator probably has more peptides than it has food. So, uh, you know, I, I, I try them out for sure. And, uh, you know, the, the depth of of what we can achieve in the human system has opened a whole new world. I mean, there's there's 60 FDA-approved peptides in the U.S. right now, um, and there's like 7,000 known peptides. Wow. I mean, we've got new treatments of cancer that are coming out in the peptide realm. Uh, we just had a peptide approved this week that was, uh, it's PT-141, which is enhancing female sexual response. But it just got an FDA approval for a, a pharmaceutical company, which surprised me because PT-141 has been around for many years. And now it's been patented as a, uh, as a pharmaceutical. Wow. So super exciting peptides. Mm -hmm. What are these other?